30. The Sacrifice Early in the morning, Abraham got up and left his tent. He saddled a donkey and split some wood for a burnt offering. He woke up two of his servants. Then he went to his son's tent. Wake up, my son. We're going on a trip. Soon they were on their way, traveling through the quiet fields and over the hills. When Sarah got up, she would be told that Abraham and Isaac had gone away to offer a sacrifice. Because that happened often, she would have no reason to feel uneasy. Isaac was happy because he was allowed to go with his father. His joyful chatter hurt Abraham. Isaac's laughter cut him to the quick. Poor boy, he thought. If he knew... For three days they traveled. For three days Abraham had to look into the joyful, animated eyes of his son while keeping silent about his horrible secret. He could not bring himself to tell Isaac. For three long days he was tempted to turn back. But he did not turn back. His faith gave him strength. It was the most difficult journey that any father has ever made. On the third day he saw the place which God had spoken. There it was in the distance. He said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey while the boy and I go over there and worship. When we are finished, we will come back. We will come back, Abraham had said. That's how firmly he believed in God's faithfulness. He was ready to sacrifice his son, but he believed that God would give Isaac back to him from the dead. Abraham took the wood for a burnt offering and laid it on Isaac's shoulders. He took fire and a knife with him. Then they proceeded to climb the mountain together. The aged father's heart was breaking, but his eyes were dry and his lips pressed together. As they climbed the narrow path leading up the mountain, Isaac stopped suddenly. My father, he said. Abraham answered, Here I am, my son. My father, Isaac asked, You have the fire and I have the wood, but where is the lamb we are to use for a burnt offering? Abraham replied, God will provide a lamb for the offering, my son. On they went, together. Finally they reached the top of the mountain. Abraham built an altar of stones. He arranged the wood on the altar. The horrible moment had come. He could no longer postpone telling his son that he would have to die because of that amazing command of the Lord, the command no one could understand. No one can ever fathom the depths of Abraham's suffering at that moment and we can never appreciate just how upset and frightened Isaac must have been. Yet a great miracle happened. Isaac did not resist. He did not struggle to free himself when Abraham picked him up and put him on the altar on top of the wood. Isaac even let Abraham tie his hands. That's how strong his faith was. Then Abraham and Isaac said goodbye to each other. Isaac had let himself be bound. He was as meek and submissive as a lamb. And Abraham, who was willing to die with his son, raised his knife high in the air. Abraham had gone far enough. At that moment, the angel of the Lord cried out from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Four eyes opened wide. Full of hope, Abraham and Isaac looked up. Their hearts were pounding in joyful anticipation. The strong hand holding the knife began to tremble. Slowly it descended to Abraham's side. Here I am, Abraham cried out. The voice of the Lord, which had taken away all his fear and sorrow, was heard again. Do not harm the boy. Now I know that you fear God, seeing that you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Trembling, Abraham cut the ropes binding Isaac and threw his arms around his son. He was so happy that he didn't know what to say. His son had been restored to him from the arms of death. Abraham's hope had not been in vain. Then Abraham heard something rustling behind him. A ram was caught by its horns in the bushes. God himself had provided a lamb for the burnt offering. Abraham bound the ram and laid it on the altar. The ram's blood flowed instead of Isaac's blood. Never was a sacrifice offered in greater gratitude. Centuries later, Solomon built the temple in the land of Moriah. 
everyday sacrifices were offered there to God's honor. On a bare hill not far away, a father later sacrificed his son, his only son. But that sacrifice was not interrupted by a voice from heaven. That son suffered death. That father was God, who did not spare his own son but offered him up for us all. The son was Jesus, who let himself be led as a lamb to the slaughter. And the hill was Golgotha. The Story Bible for Older Children, authored by Anne DeVries and published and produced in this digital format by Paideo Press, is brought to you by the Cantaro Institute. All rights reserved.